Hello everyone and welcome to Fijian Investment Trader. My name is Mr. Singh. Folks, I'm back from vacation. Uh, able, I wasn't able to send the video for past week, um, but definitely back. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to cover a lot of stocks uh, this week, especially hey, CMC uh, today because we are approaching to our level, right? Uh, before I talk on the technical side, um, some people are in fear, right? And I'm quickly going to recap the company's oversight. Like, what does the company overview mean, right? The company and the key stuffs they have, right? So, remember, we also remember that Healthy Choice Markets and Healthy Choice Market 2, hey, CMC owns both a it is Nature Market, which is 18,000 square foot, fully service grocery store in Fort Myers, and three other Paradise Nutrition location in Greater Melbourne, that is Florida, uh, Florida area, right? Also, a Healthy Choice Management ex extends past just healthy eating, right? Um, that's with that, and Healthy Choice Management Corporation, that through its six own vi uh, Vibe stores, right? We knew about the uh, the refills. One was in Canada, one is in Denver, right? Uh, we knew about uh, all the great, great source of income they are generating, right? The earnings that came out, right? Definitely the earnings came out, right? So when the earnings came out, which we discussed in the previous video, right? Couple of things. I'm going to revisit that because folks are in the fear. Right, and I get that part. Right, uh, and I'm gonna share on the technical si side of the video. Please stay, stay in the, the um, stay through the entire video, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Um, the key things that it really caught my eye, um, it's the continuous improvement. Right, when you compare, I just did EBTA, EBIT AD for the next three period ended in June 30th, improved approximately of 136,000. Right, not including the the contracts between the uh, Denver in, in Denver and in Canada, right? So with that generated revenue coming in, it gives them the opportunity to grow, open more stores, and get more um, v uh, the refills for the uh, for the Q cup in down to the road, right? And it's slowly, it's a smaller company, but it's growing at a decent uh, pace I, in my in my books right because i believe this company has a lot to offer down to the road shares are in 0 0.0007 i know we had a fear that it's coming back to 0 0.01 and there's a lot of negative talks block this noise folks because if you believe in a company then stick to it right because definitely you want to you definitely want to want to make money and you know grow your portfolio or whatever you know what are your plans are but the certain things has caught my eye, and that was one of that. It's growing, right? It's compared to 20% growth on the 20 year to year, and that was during the pandemic. Folks, we are still in pandemic. It's not over yet, right? So let's talk on the technical side. Um, I'm going to start with the uh, three months, right? We're going to start with three months. It makes, uh, well, this is the one month month. We know it continues downfall, right? We talked about over 0 0.004. Um, then we're going to go back to our three months, right? Three months, nothing changes. Nothing has changed. We've been, we've been trading in between these two channels, right? Um, and we, our moving average, the yellow line is sitting at 0 0.008. You will see on the three months to our time frame, it got rejected, right? We went high for today. We got rejected again, right? I'm going to go back quickly to the six months, right? Here is our main that we're looking at. And we talked about this downtrend, right? To see if there's some sort of breakout, which we didn't. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep extending it out, right? Uh, nothing changes. The reason is been that is um, I'm seeing, I would love to see how far we're going to, how far we'll be coming to this burden before we see a breakout. And we did, right? Uh, and we and we saw that, right? Our 200 day moving average sitting, uh, this is our 60 day, right? The yellow line you'll see right here. This is our 60 day moving average. It's sitting right up here, and time and time, we are getting rejected, folks. We are time and time, we are getting rejected. Because every time we come to the play, every time we come over here, we got rejected. We got rejected once, we bounced back. We, we got tested, and we came back. The 0 0.004, it's a loading zone, right? I did mention you, I uh, share with you guys when we were trading at 0 0.0010. Um, and I said, I'm selling my shares because I have seeds potentially coming and testing at 0 
Do I see it happening again? I'm not a final advisor. This is all based on my opinion. What I see, definitely I can see is coming back and testing it. If it has a solid, it comes great, makes some sort of double bottom in order to do that. But buyers are sitting right up here, right? And even the buyers are sitting at 0 0.006. Every time it comes in, we pushed up, we pushed up, right? Everything is pointing to a downtrend. I'm not here to give you guys information. It's like, folks, we're going to have a breakout. There's nothing giving us a breakout. It just, we're just trading sideways. That it is, folks. Our RSI is, is just up and down. It's settling between. Selling pressure has died down. If you want to go back to our lovely year-to-day chart, you will see that we are neutral. We are in a neutral right now. Buyers and sellers right there, but there's no huge spike. The reason is been that because we are trading below our three moving average. The blue line right here, You'll see that's our 20-day EMA. That's that's our first resistance to break. 0 0.08 and 0 0.0010 is our next to break, right? Um, and that's the two resistance that I am looking at very closely to see if we get tested and rejected. Right now, we had a complete sell-off, right? A sell-off all the way high of 0 0.035, all the way low of 0 0.004 which is okay because it just retested it it's uh, and reset, right? Sometimes you need a stock to be reset in order to move higher highs or higher lows, right? Right now, what I'm looking at it um, for a month, actually, folks, uh, that we've been trading in between the channel right here and which is okay. We're saying uh, trading sideways. We need trading sideways in order to cool down, buy, people have... Um, sold their profits on in lows unfortunately and now it's at a stable pace right i'm not, i'm not seeing anything break out until unless if i see a 0 0.001 testing 0 0.00 uh, 0 0.001 if we test 0 0.001 definitely something to watch for some sort of reversal coming but right now we're trading sideways that's all i have folks that's all i have i'm not here to tell you guys it's a hey, it's, it's going to go to the moon. It's not, It's going to go higher. It's going to go to a dollar. It's nothing like that. Right now, we are trading sideways, which is I'm okay with that, right? But this is an opportunity. Definitely, you don't want to miss out. Um, do I see it coming 0 0.004? Who knows? But if there's a high possibility, if we're trading this sideways, it could go either way. It can break out up there or come back to 0 0.004 and quickly spike back, spike up over here. So two areas to definitely keep an eye. If you are loading one or more shares and stuff, uh, 0 0.004 is an area to look at it. And for an up for confirmation of trend, it's definitely sitting right up here at 0 0.0010. Okay, folks, that's all I have. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm back in action. I'm back from vacation. Um, I'm definitely feeling you guys' pain has been a very ups and downs with HCMC. But... Don't lose your hope. We have a long way to go, folks. Long way to go. And I'm going to be here with you guys, Jenny, all throughout the time. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. And um, subscribe if you guys like the video. And stay tuned for my updated and the custom video uh, videos coming up very soon on HCMC. And I really appreciate you guys' support. And a good luck of this week of trading. Thank you very much.